You're all probably wondering why I came out here to greet you all today. Well, as you can see, this is my father's grand estate. Well, except for the grandness of his estate, is the lacking of his character. You see, it's the time of the Great War and my father has fled to neutral Switzerland as it is wartime in Europe. Well, me and my brother were left here and we have to take care of his estate. And he doesn't care about me and my brother. Now, because we don't have a lot of time, let's cue an abrupt and uncomfortable cut. My father is a very wealthy man. You are probably wondering where did he get his money? Well, it's quite simple, you see. It's with real estate. But as he says, England isn't getting any bigger. So, behind me you can see the tip of Southern Africa. And my father's future plans for expansion. Johannesburg, the city of gold. But we have bigger problems to deal with me and my brother. God damn it, Edward, those mutts are annoying. George, it's not my responsibility to take care of them. Can't you go play with them in the mud or something? Give them a rat to play with? I'm not going to get my hands dirty, George. Why don't you do something? George? George? Those corgis are everything to father. If something happens to them, they will only suspect us. Sit down. Then what do you suggest? Well... What about... We get a caretaker for the dogs. We have our fingers in father's wealth, so we might as well just use it. And we can even get our caretaker for me and you, you know? Hard to argue with that logic. You guys are late. Where have you been? What is your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Go to the kitchen. You'll find a list of things. Go and read up on that. What is your name? Jesse McLeese. Jesse McLeese. Walk with me. Have you ever worked with corgis before? Yes. They're annoying animals. Afternoon ladies! We're going off for some horseback riding. Would you care to join us? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You don't ride horses. George, how do you feel? You uh, want to go ride some horses? I would love to go ride some horses. But wait. What? What if we take the dogs with? Ooh, they'll love that, won't they? They would. They you know, would. running around with the horses? Definitely. Let's just uh, hope that nothing happens, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think, brother. I like the way you think. They'll never believe us. What do you mean they won't believe us? Everybody hates the Germans. Of yes. course it'll work, just stick to the plan. Okay, fine. I'll do as you said. Those bloody Germans! They killed the dogs! It was a terrible accident. Well, I'm saying accident, but we hate the Germans. We were just riding our horses in the field when a plane flew overhead. We couldn't do anything. The corgis were so frightened, they just ran in front of the horses. It was a terrible thing. I love those dogs. Jesse, please go outside and clean up the mess. It's gonna start to stink and it ruins the view. And uh, Jesse, when you're done with that, can you please pack up your things and go? We won't be needing your services anymore. Elizabeth, what is for dinner? Lord, please forgive us for what we're about to do. You realize this means war? Don't worry, honey. I'm way ahead of you.
I got something to show you. Well, I don't know about you, but I think we should sell these and head off to Switzerland, wait out the war. I guess that'll work. 